They sing like crazy at my house, but we know what they look like. Uh huh. We know what they sound like. Uh huh. But some folks want to know what do they taste like? Shannon Smith. On that beat today, <laughs> a woman of many talents, including cooking cicadas. She's hard at work and she's started her specialty dish already. It's one of those, you know, other duties as a sign kind of days, Beth, uh -huh. Lewis. Um, we're making two recipes with some cicadas today. I've never done this before, so if it's bad, uh, it could be the recipe, it could be the protein, we don't know. Uh, but I'm starting out making some chocolate chip cookies with cicadas, so I'm mixing some melted and butter right now. It's gonna be triple chocolate chip, but the third kind of chocolate is gonna be cicada. So if you guys are ready to try that, semi-sweet milk, I like to call them chocolate chirp cookies. Uh, you know, why not? How dare you, honestly, <laughs> how dare you? But you know, they're supposed to be full of protein. They're supposed to maybe taste like shellfish. You know, there's a lot of different options there. Did um, I hear you earlier? Beth, so you're the only one in here has actually eaten a cicada before. Yeah, I have, and, and this is what I want to talk about, too, because when I tried them live at 5 at 4, 17 years ago, we were at IM's, we ate the entire bug. Ooh. Eyes, wings, everything, but you have de-winged mm. yes, these uh, creations, right? Yeah, that's Foxy, what we ate right there. It just felt like a better idea to take the wings out. I don't know. That's what Foxy and I just did. Oh, um, grateful. But so I just want to bring you back to what I'm doing right now. I just added brown sugar and regular sugar to my uh, butter concoction. I'm gonna mix that up. That's always good whether or not you add cicadas to it. So you know, mine's aren't gonna quite look like what you're seeing on your screen right now. Okay. We did take the wings off. I threw them in the oven because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they were still moving. <laughs> and uh, uh. I didn't want you to eat a live oh. cicada. Fresh, uh, you, you, love, you love fresh food, fresh Shannon. Catch. Let's go. <laughs> straight, straight from the sea to, the, to your uh, plate. Straight, straight from the heart, straight from the sea, straight <laughs> from the trees, it's fine. <laughs> Todd says he's out. <laughs> well, um, also, there's a way you can apparently uh, pair some cicadas with some wine. Beth, what do you think about that? <laughs> down it with wine. <laughs> Wash it down with wine, maybe I should say. But um, I don't know. Any suggestions? Does it pair better with a white or a red? I'd like to think a red, but shellfish doesn't fish usually go with a white. I, ooh, ooh, uh, uh, producer Leanne is telling us that the Merlot uh, is indeed the, the one to go with. <laughs> so do you have any Merlot? Do we have any Merlot? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't bring any today. You said that when you said that, but I'm like, do you have any Merlot, please? Uh. But that pairing is actually coming from an entomologist at UT Maryland, which is like the cicada expert. Oh. They're saying Merlot is the best. Okay. Um, but sparkling wine for fried cicadas, you know? Well, I mean, I so I, I don't know if anyone else in the studio smells this, and please speak up if you do. Um, I, I can smell them cooking in the oven right now. What's it smell like? It, to me, it smells kind of like um like the early stages of cookies, not to the point where like you smell like the chocolate chips and stuff, but like you mm -hmm. smell something baking. But Lewis um, is the only person who smells this, so we don't I'm know. I'm a little further I got, away. I got a super I, I'm <laughs> on the other side of the studio, but I remember them tasting kind of like chicken, but I did dip them in a lot of ranch dressing. I okay. pretended it was a chicken nugget. Now, if we could take a wider shot. I'll show you guys kind of all the ingredients I have right in here. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got stuff to make some cicada tacos as well. Um, so you see I've got my, my corn, my onions, my tomatoes, my cheese, our tortillas. And we're going to kind of batter, and it, well, my attempt at battering and frying the cicadas on the stove. Um, so we'll kind of have a, like a little deep fried cicada taco action going on. Okay. Um, but so dessert and dinner, you can eat your dessert first, it's fine. If we want to try the cookie life uh, versus the taco life. But I'm, I have those cookies in the oven soon, then we'll start frying up the cicadas. Um, and I want to preface this, guys. Um, I am a professional journalist, not a professional cicada chef. Uh, so again, if they taste bad, at hey, least you tried. Did I hear John and Robin walk by? Yeah, I think they want to come try some. Yeah, I was hoping they'd come in and see what you're cooking because they, I, I think, you know, John Becker's just been dying to try a cicada. Jamie. That's what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> mm. They'll pop in at some point. They're ignoring us. Uh, Oh, they're coming. Hold on. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's hurry get up. Come on. Where are you guys? Come on. Robin, come eat some. Oh, oh. Cicadas. Robin, you can take my spot. Pop doing. on in. I just, want to, I just want to see Robin's reaction when she looks at this these. This is an interesting combo. The cicadas are behind you. <laughs> John Becker, come on over here. There we go. Not yet, JB. Sure, sure. You're going to eat them right out of the... I haven't even done anything to them yet. Let's do it. No, they're done. Oh, even cooked him yet. No, that don't, don't do it yet. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leave it to JB. John, it really doesn't have much of a <laughs> That was not planned. Jo jo <laughs> that was alive like 20 seconds ago. ago. It may still be moving. <laughs> Tasty. 
I haven't even put them in a dish yet. They're just out of the oven. They were in there for like five minutes. There's no seasoning. It's like a tater tot. A tater tot. Good That's enough. Robin wants one on a hot dog. All right, JB, JB, get out of my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> this I is going it. crazy out here. I love uh, it. Well, so at least we know um, they're cooked, maybe. I don't know. Oh, Tastes like a tater tot. Spices. Tater tot is what he said. Tater tot is a little squishier than what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even I, uh, know what to do. Let's, let's stop talking about cooking and let's look at a cuter way to use cicadas. Okay. <laughs> Oxan Oxana Ware decided to skip the newborn and wedding photos. She actually does this with cicadas doing everyday things. I, I hate it here, I really do. The Arlington, <laughs> Virginia photographer shared these photos with a local television station showing the cicadas doing laundry, uh, enjoying a day outside, and on a fire truck. Ware is also a wildlife photographer, and this gave her the chance to do a silly photo <laughs> shoot. Um. So if you want to vote for which anchor, other than John Becker, because he just did it on TV <laughs> live, <laughs> that gets the pleasure of trying the cicada creations, either the tacos or the cookies or both. You can visit the Channel 10 Instagram page and vote. Yeah, coming up today at 5, one of these uh, lucky people, we'll call them, will get a taste. Uh, you can vote uh, who will eat those cicada creations. Once again, the WBIR Instagram page. Tay Todd, can you um, save us, please? Let's talk about some weather. I just some can't weather. believe John already did it. You know, he threw me off a little there. <laughs> no. Hey.